Okay, today guys we're going to jump straight in. I'm starting out with MAC Soft Brown. I've already primed my eyes with the usual and I'm taking my E40 and just really buffing this all over the lid. There is no rhyme or reason. I'm just packing this on. I'm just blending it out, making sure it's really blown out and smoky. Then we're going to go in with this shade called Rule from MAC. It's like a darker kind of orangey color. And I'm going to take this on an E25 and put that deeper into my crease. And then we're going to take this by Makeup Geek. It's like a blue-brown pigment. MAC makes the same thing, but Makeup Geek's is like $6. MAC's is like $22. I'm going to take a flat little brush and some Fix Plus, or you can use eye drops and just dip it into the product and then I'm going to pack this and spread it all over my lid. I'm not going to take it any higher than my lid because I want to keep the main focus um, down, not in my crease, down lower on my lid. And then we're going to add some tape, always because I suck at anything regarding eyeliner and keeping it even. So the tape just really helps me to make everything even and the same. I'm taking that same E25 and we're going to go in with this color called Sketch. This is from MAC. It's a deep kind of purple. It has shimmer but it comes off matte when you apply it. And I'm keeping that really low just in that outer corner. And we're going to go in with the E40 and just kind of blend out the edges. Um, you can take some more Rule or Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek or more Soft Brown or like a light shade or whatever shade that you use in the crease as your transition shade, you can use to kind of help blend out the edges um, on the darker smoky look. Sorry about the lawnmower if you can hear it. Here I'm just touching up the blue-brown pigment. Um, it kind of got a little bit faded when we were doing all that blending, so I'm just adding a little bit more. And then I'm just doing the same thing with Sketch on the other side. Just touching up the blue-brown, making sure that it is vibrant. And again, with, you know, just blending out the edges. Blend, blend, blend. More blending, adding more color, more blending, making sure that both sides look even and they look the same. When you look at me, if they look, make sure that they look the same. Taking some eyeliner in black, always love black eyeliner, and I'm just going to kind of messily put this on my lash line because we're going to be smudging this out so this doesn't have to be perfect by any means. I mean, I only put it about halfway on my eye. This way I can smudge it into the inner corner and it's not as harsh, and I can smudge it out on the wing and it looks more faded out. It makes it look softer. So I'm just taking this flat brush and I pull my eye taut. It just helps to keep everything smooth when you're kind of um, smudging it out. And you could use a pencil brush for this or a small detail brush. I'm just using the brush that I had. Just extending the flick a little bit. Pulling off the tape. Bam. Perfect. This is why we use tape people. And then I'm just kind of blending the rest of the eye. Fixing that little corner right there. Blending, blending, blending. And you could totally use um, like a gel eyeliner or a liquid eyeliner for this. 
I just wanted more of like a really soft smoky effect so I just used a regular um, what do you call it a twist and then just smudging it um, but if you wanted more of a dramatic statement eyeliner you could definitely do liquid or gel and you could also add um, fake eyelashes to this look because I didn't do any fake eyelashes with this And then we're just doing more blending, making sure everything is seamless. And then I'm taking that same black eyeliner that I used for my liner on top and putting it in my waterline and my tight line. I'm going to go in with Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line and just kind of smudge it out. Um, I always feel like it's important when you do a smoky eye to definitely get color underneath your eyes so that it balances and your top doesn't look heavier than the bottom. So it doesn't make your top of your eye look like there's so much done and then the bottom there's just nothing. Ta -da. Oh, special appearance. That's my baby bullet. Isn't he cute? Oh my god. And we're going to do some mascara. And that's Chris in the background. He was bored, so he decided he would come hang out with me. We're just doing, put on your favorite mascara. I'm just using mine. It's the Buxom one. You guys have seen it before. Don't forget to get your bottom lashes. And then this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm going to kind of switch it up in my next tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Bye.